Some people might consider the tie rod end to be a low tech piece of metal. But the truth is when you consider how front suspensions have evolved from straight axles to independent designs, it's clear that there's nothing simple about the angles and geometry these components can handle. The original equipment ball joint and tie rods used throughout the 1970s were metal on metal designs that required regular maintenance in the form of a grease gun. In the early 1980s, OEMs shifted their attention to low friction technology that provided improved steering and vehicle handling and reduced warranty and repair costs. Although there are a few applications that still call for a greasable version, today's state-of-the-art high-performance tie rod and ball joint programs put original equipment quality into the aftermarket's hands. For example, TRW ball joints feature an outer housing that's manufactured using forged or cold form steel for additional strength and reliability under the harshest of conditions. On the inside, the full ball metal stud is made of either stainless steel, geomet, or similar metal coated for corrosion-free performance. It's highly polished and encapsulated with a high strength, low friction polymer bearing for smooth articulation. This construction allows for free range of motion and provides smooth steering and suspension, which restores the vehicle to original operating performance. The combination of these technologies provides the safest, most efficient, and highest performing parts. This is because low friction technology provides maximum grease distribution, which results in lower wear and higher durability to road shocks. High temperature grease and modern materials allow for endurance in all terrains, temperatures, and duty cycles. Modern vehicles are highly complex systems in which all components mutually affect each other. The components work together to provide very specific handling characteristics in a vehicle. A sealed for life design ensures a constant low friction linkage to keep the vehicle operating as its manufacturer intended and its driver expects. Thanks for watching.